Hi everyone, welcome back to Online Darts. Very special one, we've got the wizard Colin Osborne. Colin, you're playing with a smile again, playing with freedom, enjoying your darts again? Very much so, very much so. Phil, I've, uh, I've, I've put a lot of hard work in behind the scenes over the last few years and that, and it's nice to get a few rewards, you know, and the confidence is building all the time and when you're winning games, you know, the confidence comes back. So, yeah, things are looking good. Has it been a tough few years because you got to a UK Open final, won the Champions League, but losing your tour card, was that tough to get over to start with? Uh, it, it was at the time, but I had a lot of personal issues going on, Phil, you know, and, and, and in this game it's all about confidence. And once that confidence goes and the seed of doubt, I suppose, enters your mind, you know, which it happens to a lot of pros at the top level. But uh, you see, I've, uh, I've went away, I've regrouped in the last few years, I've put a lot of hard work and it's nice to, uh, you know, find a bit of form. When you're at the top, which you were, <clears throat> and that slide happens, are you conscious? Do you know it's happening and is, is it tough to try and put the brakes on and stop that slide? It is, it is. Obviously, you're always aware of obviously how, how you're performing. And when you're going and you're not performing at your best ability, it's, uh, it is, it's tough. And you're always aware of, you know, because then you, when you're, you're in all the TV events and then you're dropping out and then you're going to qualifiers and you're chasing for qualifiers to get in the TV ones. And then also you can see yourself slipping down the Pro Tour rankings. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's a slippery slope. For the man that is like yourself that's won so much, going back to Q School, do you feel there was a bigger target on your back as well because of the stuff you'd won and where you'd come from? I, th I think so in the beginning, yes. I, when I first went uh, after I'd slipped off the tour and then the first couple of challenge tours it was, yeah. But then, again, it, it's, all, it, this is, it's such a mind game, this is, you know, and you've just got to stand there and throw your darts. And the old cliche, if you what you're looking at, you know, things, things are good, but it doesn't always work like that. When you hit bottom, like you did, is it a case <coughs> of just rebuilding everything from scratch and almost starting again as that young green pro? It, yeah, totally. Totally, you know, like you say, you have a bit of a target on your back and a bit of a name, let's say. But there's so many hungry players out, out there, you know, the opportunities are massive and everyone's chasing the dream. You know, so it was a case of just starting again, rebuild and open doors and see where it takes you. With normality approaching, things opening up, do you think playing here will stand you in great stead for the rest of the year because you're bat already almost? Oh yeah, I think it's a massive, a massive advantage. It really is, like you say, it's that match practice, it's that one-to-one, -one, you know, you're in there. Like you say, I've played a few online competitions and that, and it, it's, it's just not, you don't get the same feel. I suppose it's like now with all the big major sporting events, you know, there's no crowds. It's not the same, you know, it's nice to play in front of the crowds and under pressure. And, uh, yeah, no, it's all good. And looking ahead, do you still feel the game is there for yourself to get back to those glory days of the UK Opens and the Champions League? Oh, 100%. You know, I've rebuilt everything for, you know, and I've put a lot of hard work in. And I find now when I'm, I'm, I'm playing a lot more relaxed, I'm playing with a smile on my face. And if I turn up and play my A game, I, it, it'll, I'll take some beating. That rebuild that you talked about and that confidence, obviously you must have a good team behind the scenes to support you because it's not easy to go from high to low, back to high again. Oh, very, very good team, you know, it's only it's a, it's a close, small team I've got. You know, there's certain individuals who will be me 100%, you know, and it's, it's, it's close, it's tight-knit, and uh, we, uh, it, we're just starting to go again. Do you take hope as well that we've seen Peter Wright win world titles at 50, Glenn Darren winning Premier Leagues? I know everyone goes on about the youth and it's all about that, but there's still life in the old oh, dogs, yeah, def definitely. You see, I'm, I'm, 40, I'm 46 in a couple of weeks' time, and I still feel, and my game is as good as anybody's when I perform, and I've still got a few years left in this game. Yep. The way the PDC have done now as well, when you first started there weren't challenge tours or anything like that, you were either on the pro tour or you weren't. Is that a great stepping stone as well now that there is somewhere for you to go when you drop off the tour? Oh yeah, yes, most certainly. You know, it's uh, like you say with all the opportunities like you say and, and uh, I suppose the younger lads say that they've got a massive advantage with the development tours, the pro tours and you know the challenge tour things, you know, and all the TV ones. It's uh, it's just a gateway for to uh, success at the moment, really is. Well seeing this as well, I know you're not quite there yet, but it's also somewhere to go when you get to that age as well, that you don't just drop off the tour and you've got nowhere to go. Yeah, that's right. Like you said, it, it's all there. You know, if, if it's in the blood, that's what we do. We play darts, you know, we love the competitiveness, we love the challenge. And like you say, further down the line, not just yet, but further down the line, it's another opportunity to go down. Oh, my aim is obviously to win your tour card back, but this year, could we see you playing in some WDF stuff, some mad stuff? as well just to keep the arm going and get as much mat practice as you can? Oh, yeah, definitely. You see, I've, been, I've already been penciled in for a few, you know, towards the back end of the year. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And like you say, with the w, uh, WDF and the, the Mad Darts, and that, it's, again, it's creating massive opportunities for us to go and play darts. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it, the future looks good.
from top to bottom, has Darts ever been in a better place? Because there was always the rivalry between the PDC and the BDO. <coughs> Amateur Darts fell off a little bit, but now the whole game is it the best it's ever been? I, I believe so. I believe so. You know, and it's just in, with all the new opportunities coming through, it's just pushing forward all the time. You know, and it's uh, it is it's uh, it's it's really the future is really bright for the for the start in general. Colin, pleasure as always, mate. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you.